but we've all seen the video. I've got Paul Sikala with me. Thanks for being with us. Now, Paul, I've got to ask you, was that real? Uh, that was 100% real. <laughs> I mean, if, um, you know, I, I have to be a great stuntman if it wasn't because uh, I pretty much handed the microphone off to my coworker and good friend, Danny, uh, and then I went out on a full sprint. I tripped and I fell and <laughs> that's how, how about- it was a playful yet genuine hustle to get to the game by tip-off to make deadlines, something we have to do as journalists. It ended up uh, turning into a very embarrassing fall. Were you hurt? Uh, you know, not really. You know what? Uh, I, um, I'm i a little bit scraped up. Uh, my knee got scraped up a little bit, but it's not bad. And, and, and had the producers not cut from the shot, did a pretty good roll where I lo- rolled right up and, and, and kept on chucking along. I knew as I fell it was going to be embarrassing as it was, and if I stayed down, it would look <laughs> even worse if, if the you know camera was still going on me. So I, I kind of just rolled and got right back up. And I'm kind of sad in a way that it didn't show that because, you know, it makes me look like I'm some clumsy, goofy reporter, which I am in many ways. But um, I think in a weird way, some of my athleticism came out by me able to take the fall and, and roll and pretty much keep going. But uh, it is what it is. I look like a mentor no matter what. Hey, Paul, what do your coworkers have to say? <laughs> You know, at first they were just laughing their nalgas off. I mean, they they called me and said that, wow, we can't believe that happened. Are you okay? You know, this and that. And um, um, and then next thing you know, a lot of the viewers were calling in saying, hey, is is Paul Sticala okay? And, and and this and that. So which made me feel good because I figured it it might have another effect. And it has to a degree where where people will call and say, oh, that's what he gets for being a payaso and trying to run away and you know on live TV full sprint. He deserves to fall. And you know, I do deserve to fall. I, I took that chance and I'm running. And I I knew in the back of my head you know what if i were to fall that'd be embarrassing and uh and i did and um so anybody who does say that they're right i did deserve to fall and i did but um but that said i think it was more people a little bit concerned about uh whether or not i'm okay now paul last night i'm watching jimmy fallon you know you were on jimmy <laughs> fallon right now uh, last yeah night, right? yeah yeah that was another embarrassing moment in my well, career <laughs> so what what's it like for you these last 24 hours you know it's been crazy because um well if there's any positive in this you know there is a lot of publicity i guess and i and i have to realize that i have to embrace it i mean and i'm i'm a guy that that can sit down and laugh at myself or laugh at others and and i look at it and it is funny um it's embarrassing for me but it's funny and i guess if there's any positives in all this you know it showed two qualities of mine that i take pride in my, my strong work ethic and my hustle <laughs> and my attempt to be creative and always think ahead but obviously in this case it, it backfired but it's it's been pretty cool. You know, I've been on the Oprah Winfrey show, and I was there as an accomplished journalist, so to say, somebody who is an objective journalist, and they flew me out there to Chicago and, and all that to talk about a story when I was in news. You know, it was, what, back in 2003? And, um, you know, I feel like that was, you know, a good reason for me to be on all these late night shows or, or, or any syndications or what have you. And now I'm on all of these shows or I'm on the Today <laughs> Show or I'm Jimmy Fallon for, for basically being that, that tonto, uncoordinated, clumsy journalist that, that fell on live TV.